hand over the cow juice milkmaid. Yeah. It's Mr. Alias. You get him, Mr. Alias. <laughs> Mr. Alias, man of adventure, triumphs again. Who among you is ready to join me in my life of adventure? Me, me, me. I've made all the arrangements. I've, I've notified, notified the authorities. The authorities pulled pull the, the strings, strings and grease the palms. palms all, all to create, create an, adventure an adventure for you! Just send $100 for your very own Adventure in a Box! But I already did! Well, well if, if you, you already, already did, did then, then watch, watch your mailbox, mailbox because Adventure awaits! <laughs> from Mr. Alias too large for home delivery. Please pick up at the Oversight Delivery Office. Oh, boy! Let the adventure begin! Yes, sir -y, Baba Link! My adventure in a box! <laughs> nice haircut. Ahem. Regulation 47K, subsection 8, clearly states... No customers on the counter! <laughs> Lady, I just want my package. <sighs> the rules are the rules, Woodpecker. I don't make them, I just carry them out. There are rules to be followed! <laughs> Wasting stamps! That's another rule you've broken! <laughs> Say, aren't you employee of the month? Oh, aren't you sweet? Let's see if we can get that package for you. Claim slip? I, uh, have... Ah, uh, phooey. I seem to have misplaced it. Company rules are very specific about missing claim slips. Oh, my. Rule 84, paragraph G, states that customers without claim slips must take a number and wait in line until an official of the company, that would be me, calls his number and verifies his identity. And then there's rule 48K. No touching the rule book! <laughs> now take a number and wait like everybody else. Oh, boy. Number one. Number two. Anyone? Number three. Right here, number three. Now can I get my box? Yes. See how well everything works when we follow the rules? Now, you may wait in the package line. must be stacked at all times. Direct violation of code 525Z. Trespassing behind my counter! Finger here and help me tie this knot.
so fast, violator. No scofflaw is going to break procedure on my watch. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Woodpecker? Wow, I can't wait to begin my adventure. Come out, or I'll have so much junk mail delivered to your house it'll look like a paper recycling plant. A Navy officer's uniform. Oh, Woodpecker, I'm coming for you. But first, I know just what Mr. Alias would do in this situation. Oh, Woodpecker! Come on out! I won't hurt you! Hmm? Oh, Delivery Master General! What are you doing here? A spot inspection? Regulation 39B clearly states employees are to follow orders from their superiors at all times. Yes, sir, Delivery Master General. Now get behind that red line until I tell you to move. On your mark, get set, pack that box, yes. sort that mail, yes. count those stamps, stack that tape, answer that phone, file those invoices. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Take one more look around.
time. Now get! can be and I can't take it anymore, man. <sighs> Hi, neighbor. It huh? sure is a nice day. Hi, neighbor. It sure is a nice day. What? Whoa. Minnie's happy, friendly, and she isn't forcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Meanie's been turned into a robot. Wow, give me that. Let's go. A spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. Yeah. But Robot Meanie needs is a speedish car voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go tell Meanie we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full blast. La the signal. Hi, neighbor. Uh, yeah, uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Meanie. That's a neighborly thing to do. Work, work, work. Yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Woody, the horse is... Oh! <laughs> it was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Uh, oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof Meanie's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot-handed. Okay, Wally. Oh, what's you hurry up? Oh, my lucky day. I think 
be made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. Oh. It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zapper circuits good, yeah? <laughs> Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. We need more power. Home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a. Oh. Ooh, he's coming. Yeah. What do we do? What do we do? The robot's gonna get us good, yeah. This home is a happy home. This home is a mess. This home is a mess. How to be a good neighbor, my aching bunions. These self-help books are a load of hooey. You mean you're not a robot? I try to better myself to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat. How could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Yeah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? <laughs> Bonus paid for mice. 
Apply Missile Test Center. Mice! Cash bonus! Egad! I'll be rich! Power! Money! Yachts! Girls! Good man, any more of your roughhouse tactics, and I shall be forced to take retaliatory measures. a news bulletin. The sound you will hear is the signal from a rocket just put into orbit. Let me out of here! I'm a cat, not a mouse! I demand to see my lawyer! Help! Help! <gasps> what an awesome red meteorite! It's the third time I've seen it this month. I'll name you... Winnie Mite! <laughs> Position, azimuth, 30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. Oh, I wish I could be an astronaut so I could see the stars up close. <laughs> hmm. If found, return to the Torsten Space Launch Center. Wow. This could be my ticket to ride. Look at that. No, you're wrong. Nuclear fission. Oh, a Phillips head. Yes! Excuse me. I'm Winnie Woodpecker. Is this yours? Ah! My media model a satellite! Hmm. This is what protects Earth. This is bad! Wow! Is that a giant blue ice meteor hurtling towards Earth, Professor? Where? That doesn't... We're doomed! Earth is toast! I need a space crew! Perhaps I could... Oh. It couldn't hurt to just try this on. Ah, my crew person! But I just called. How did you get here so fast? Fax, email. Let's go! But, Professor, I'm I'll not... finish this toast. We've got to stop that media! Whoa! Wait! You! You're 
an amateur. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, this itches. Oh, this is not good. Bad, bad, bad thing. Need lotion. Ointment would be good. Uh... Better grip, Professor. Now, there's three reasons why I can help. I'm a fast learner. I don't use up much oxygen. And I'm all you got, mister. So let's get to it. I'm... Release me now! Yes, sir! No, no, I'm not... Oh! Oh! Professor, there's zero gravity! Must get the satellite out there fast! Winnie, energize my jetpack! Oh, this is my big opportunity to make one giant leap for all woodpeckers! Who's there? Those kids today? Hurry! It's not... Okay, okay. Maybe it's three. Ah! <laughs> the pressures! Ah! Magnetize the hull! It'll pull me back to the ship! Like that, Professor? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Just a second, Professor. Minor snafu. Please, stop that! Amateurs! We must get this satellite back into orbit. Listen carefully! I'm all ears, Professor. Well, I mean, not literally. Of course, I have hands and feet, and some say a cute beak. Quiet! Now activate the robot arm! Activating the robot arm! Easy, easy. Easy, easy. It sure looks easy. What did I do to deserve this? Please, be gentle. Working in space is harder than I ever imagined, Professor. Oh, my goodness! What? I can't see. Help me with my helmet. It's the giant blue ice meteor! If it is, we need to stop it! Track the beam? No. Death ray? No. Get my helmet off! I've got everything under control, Professor. <laughs> Maybe not everything, everything. I wanted to be remembered as the one who saved the Earth. Now I'm the one who destroyed it with... with a giant ice chicken! <laughs> oh, you won't be remembered for that, Professor. It's a giant ice swan. Oh. We need something big, something powerful to destroy that star fowl. Winnie might. <laughs> Position. Azimuth. 30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. That's it! What? Leaving? Where are you going? Like I always say, Professor, when in doubt, improvise! Okay, Professor, I've packed the dynamite onto the medium. Dynamite? What are you thinking? Just this! <laughs> A giant ice runner! <laughs> Won't help, Winnie. It's still on course. Only now for the other side of Earth. Yep, Professor. And right into the path of my beautiful red Winnie Mite. Professor Quark, could you tell our viewers how you managed to save Earth? Oh, well, I, uh, she, no, what, what did she say? What Professor Quark means is that together we fired these lasers at the ice meteor and... <laughs> What are you doing? The lasers! You like to shut that thing off! This just in. I'm getting word the National Space Division has reported some unauthorized laser activity. It has knocked a red meteor onto a collision course with Earth. And this one's in the shape of a giant woodpecker. Come on, Professor. We've got work to do. What? Oh, hello? No! Space woodpeckers! Dangerous! It's... I'm breaking out in hives. Again! The first day of baseball season. Woo -hoo! Come through. Hey, 
No Back cuts. of the line, What are you doing, bub? One front row ticket to the ball game, please. Well, the game's sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Tweaky. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, 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 maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Bob McGurney in the... Uh, we're out of the sweaty underwear business, Twiggy. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. Oh, oh. But we gotta get him out of this crowd. I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Looking to see some big-time baseball stars up close and personal? Aw, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Well, I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp, where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, yeah, that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woo-hoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. Hey, what kind of sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. So those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great, let's get playing. Oh, yeah. And why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field, and fast. Memorial Stadium. This is a cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Hey, uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Tweaky, get the wallet. Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> yeah, well, not until. Uh, well, you still need to work on your. Uh... That's it. A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into base faster. <laughs> You were sliding. Eh, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeed, he do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm, how come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best-kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these lowballs to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him into next week, Twiggy. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> 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 
See to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. <laughs> Next time we watch the game on TV. <laughs> uh, She has to go. Hocus Pocus, Woodpecker be gone.
about those firecracker gags. You must this old gray head, but spare my bowling ball, he said. if you happen to know one. Woo-wee! A spa for the rich and famous. This is my kind of place. Pardon a moi. International passports, please. Spain, Switzerland, Russia, Bora Bora. Ah, a pleasure to have you back with us, Mr. and Mrs. Newton the Sky. I hope your year-long ski holiday with the King of Sweden was the cat's meow. <laughs> Passport, please. Oh, lovely to have you back from Avenue C, Main Street, and... Hey, this is a bus pass. You've only been across town. Yeah, but I've been way across town. Only the ultra-rich and famous are allowed in Miss Ida Lux's European Spa. We don't think you fit in with the rich and famous, Woodpecker. Miss Lux, my boss has a ribbon. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Woodpecker's best friend, come to Papa. My, don't you look beatifically today. Whatever. And how is the little Fifu doing? <laughs> Fifu, don't bite the doorman. He could have rabies. Hey, Push the urn. <laughs> Fifu, darling, what are you doing? This will come out of your salary. Now get back to work. Don't you just love it when the underdog wins? Rest and relaxation, here I come. Ah, just what I need, a relaxing massage. Uh -oh. ah. Now where is that walking feather pet? Did you see a woodpecker about this high and this wise? A woodpecker? Uh, no, I didn't see. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I know a stiff neck when I am seeing one. Uh, you bet. <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. You're all tied in knots. Um, yeah, but except... Just close your eyes. First, a scalp massage. <laughs> so do your free. Now just relax. <laughs> I 
can see every single muscle group working together like a fishing crew in a fjord. Uh, yeah, thanks. You'll be coming back again soon. <laughs> Mommy will be right back. <laughs> For this. You buffoon! What have you been doing all day? Taking balance lessons from Humpty Dumpty? <sighs> Mudliness is next to cleanliness, I always say. Hmm? Got you, woodpecker! <laughs> Got mud? I gotta find a disguise to convince that doorman that I'm not here. Excuse me, have you seen a woodpecker in these vicinities? Why, no. I have always relied on the kindness of trainers. <gasps> that disguise won't work. Forget the disguises. This'll work. Got you now, <laughs> woodpecker. <laughs> Papaya facial massage. La 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 la. Oops. Ah ah ah! I'm not done with you yet. Uh oh. Not bad, but it needs a bake job. Excuse me, but have you seen my so-called doorman? Oh, you poor dear. Good help is so hard to find these days, isn't it? You can say that again. He completely destroyed my expensive urn collection. Not to fret, Miss Lux. I just returned from Valley Valley, and I would love to present this splendid little gift to you as a token of my appreciation for keeping the riffraff out of our spa. Mr. Woodpecker, you have wonderful taste. You must come with us next month to St. Tropez and then on to Monte Carlo. The figs and mud there are beyond compare. Oh, Woody, be a dear and get Fifu. Then hurry and join us in the limo. Woo-wee! Monte Carlo, limos. You heard what she said. I'm in the money now. <laughs> from Washington for little old me. <clears throat> it has come to our attention that hibernating bears are being disturbed by park visitors. Hmm, maybe I better do a little check. are allowed in that bar cave. Hey, read that sign. Can't read, huh? Well, I'll tell you what it says. It says, Don't wake up the sleeping birds! Birds! Thank you. 
Doc Barr has done took my bed. Wait till I lay my hands on that penguin. <laughs> from the Antarctic Core. No pressures, no responsibilities, <gasps> no fuel. Halt, civilian! You think you could just waltz over here and commandeer this fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... Combustibles container, and I cannot allow its transfer to non military personnel without Form 5674 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. I outrank you. Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. 
You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. <laughs> It's you again! cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. Ending my leave. If I get any more rest and relaxation. 